Hi guys, I'm Kirsten from Lambie's Nursery and today is the most exciting day ever. When I was in the third grade, I fell in love with American Girl, but my family was really poor. So even though I begged for a doll, it took my parents saving every last penny we had for them to get me an American Girl doll for Christmas. And the doll they got me, I have been in love with her. Like we share a name. So if you didn't know, Kirsten, <laughs> we share a name and I've always loved her period. I loved her story the most as a kid. I still really do. She is the most special to me. When I was 17 and growing adults, I actually ended up selling her and I have regretted it every second since. And I have scoured eBay. I have scoured everywhere trying to find a doll that just fit my Kirsten, but I never was able to until American Girl re-released the original six dolls. I know it's crazy. So it's their 35th birthday and to celebrate, they re-released all the doll or all the first six dolls with their original stuff, original outfits and accessories. And it's, it's incredible. And <laughs> I can see her face. She is incredible. I wanted to share this really special moment with you guys and review her and unbox her. I, I'm shaking. I am so happy. I feel like I'm going to cry. Let's get into this. The box is a long burgundy, like dark red box at the very bottom. It says Kirsten Larson's 35th anniversary collection. It says eight plus. It has a picture of Kirsten right here. It's so pretty has her original logo that says 1854 with her smiling in the camera. Well, pretend camera since it's from 1854. It says the American Girls Collection. And here is a window showing Kirsten. She is so pretty. I, oh my gosh, this is the best day ever. I cannot lie to you guys. I missed her so much. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this day is here. Go ahead and open her up. This is amazing. I can't, I can't believe we're doing this. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. This this is crazy. I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life. I can't believe I finally have her back. I'm gonna go ahead, slide the lid off. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe. It's never easy for me. I see people do this all the time in like videos when they're unboxing their American Girl dolls and they do it so easily and I never can. Oh my gosh, I, I can't believe today is here. This is really the best day. Okay, almost there. Almost there this time. <laughs> oh, almost. Oh my gosh. How silly. Almost there. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to lift this off. And oh my gosh, look how fresh she is. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Just seeing her again is literally the greatest thing that could ever happen. She's my Kirsten. When I was a kid, we went on so many adventures together and oh, just seeing her again. I love it. I am so happy. This is crazy. Let's get back to the rest of the video. So she came with her original book and it looks just like how it did when I was a kid. And when she originally came out, it has it says, me, Kirsten, it has her smiling. Have you guys ever read the American Girl books? I really love them. I know I'm an adult, but I still read them. But I just love the pictures and the words. Their stories are incredible. So I'll set this here. And under her book comes her accessories. So she came with a little like amber heart necklace. Actually, I'm just gonna take these out and show you guys. So here is her beautiful little necklace. She also has this precious wooden spoon for tasting things on the prairie. She comes with a hinky or napkin. And then this beautiful pouch, it says 1854. It's red, white, and blue. And it says KL, has some embroidered stars. It's really pretty and looks homemade. And when you wrap this around her napkin, or not her napkin, excuse me, her apron. And let's take a closer look at Kirsten while she's still in the box. So. She has beautiful braided hair loops. She's so pretty. Her face is so cute. It all the Ameri or excuse me, all the Kirsten dolls I got after my original one when I started collecting dolls again, they were from Pleasant Company, which was the one the ver the original version of American Girl back in the 80s and 90s. And while they were still amazing and beautiful, they just weren't my Kirsten cuz I got my Kirsten in I like I said 2003, so Mine had a bit more of a modern face and this Kirsten 
looks just like my original I had as a little kid. Her hair is so pretty and shiny and perfect. She has this blue floral dress and it's so pretty and she has a red striped apron. Also over in her um, box, she has this, it says celebrating 35 years and it has all the original six dolls on the little pamphlet. And it's, here's Felicity. She's a spunky, spri sprightly, colonial girl full of energy and independence. Then there's Josefina, a Hispanic girl whose heart and hopes are as big as the New Mexico sky. So it talks about Pleasant Roland who found um, the American Girl Company in 1986. She set out to create a line of books and dolls that would provide girls with hours of imaginative play. Well, while, <laughs> sorry, I'm so excited. It's hard for me to read. While offering wholesome lessons about friendship, family, and American history, today, as girls' interests change and grow, American Girl remains guided by Pleasant Roland's original vision. American Girl continues to offer relevant toys and content to help girls express themselves, understand the changing world they're growing up in, and find ways to make the world better for everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the other girls. Oops, as best I can. So there's Kirsten, a pioneer girl of strength and spirit who settles on the frontier. If you didn't know, Kirsten comes from Sweden. She goes all the way to Minnesota, and that's her first book. Then there's Addie, 1864, a courageous girl determined to be free in the midst of the Civil War. Addie's whole story is incredible. She starts out as a slave in North Carolina, and her and her mom escape slavery and go all the way to, I think it's Pennsylvania in her first book. It's incredible. And then there's Samantha, a bright Victorian beauty, an orphan raised by her wealthy grandmother. I always love Samantha. And Molly, a schemer and dreamer on the home front during World War II. Molly's pretty cool. I love all these dolls so much. So I have Josefina. I now have Kirsten again. I have Addie and Samantha. So I just need Molly and Felicity. I'm not sure if I'm going to get them, but I really would love to. But their collections, like this whole collection where they come with a doll and accessories, it costs $150, which feels a little steep. That's why I only got Kirsten because she's so special to me. So Kirsten also has little boots on. They are brown. Here is her underwear. And then she has these brown, green, I guess, green or gray socks. She also has her bonnet that she came with. It is red checkered. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the box so we can start getting Kirsten out of the box. I think it was probably maybe really weird growing up that my favorite doll was named Kirsten and I'm named Kirsten. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start pulling her out of the box. So they have these dolls strapped into the box pretty good, which is good. It does keep them safe, but I just want her out to see her right this very second. I don't want to be patient today, which is probably fair. This is a very exciting box opening. Let me grab my scissors that are over here and let me see about cutting off this rubber band that's dripping down her arm. There, hi. Oh, I missed you, hello. She's so perfect in every way. It's hard not to cry. I am just so happy to have her back. It feels like having a long lost friend back. Like this was my most prized possession. Don't ask me why I sold it though. I was 17 and dumb. And sometimes when you're a teenager, you just do dumb things. But I regretted it even back then. Because all I bought with that was food. I sold her and I used her to pay for a funnel cake of all things. So I totally regret that was not worth it. And hello, hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> She's so perfect. Look at her eyes. Oh, She's the most pretty blue eyes. I'll show you guys a better close up in a second. But this is phenomenal. Seeing my favorite doll again. Oh, I cannot believe it. I don't know how to get over it. Like her hair is perfect. Everything about her is absolutely stunning. Oh my God. How? This is amazing. I'm gonna try to tie on her bonnet and then tie on her um, little pouch and her necklace. There's so much to put on her and I am so happy. I'm, I'm so happy I get to share this moment with you guys and just so happy to have my close friend back. I've been wanting this doll forever and I just have not, I was not able to find one in my price range that looked like the doll I had as a kid. I know that's so silly. I should have just accepted 
any doll I could find that looked kind of like her. And I tried to a few, quite a few times, I think three times I tried to, maybe even four, but it just, it never felt right. And this one, it does absolutely 100% feel right. And ugh, I cannot believe this moment is here. She's here. I don't want to wear, I don't want her to wear a bonnet. I just want it to <laughs> sit in the back right now. I don't know. I'm going to be weird and that's okay. This is incredible. This is my homecoming, my special girl. So I'll tie this over on this side of her apron if I can. So we do a weekly podcast with my favorite artist, Chelsea from Pumpkin Sparkles Babies. And we're going to do that one this weekend over at my mom's house because we're going to my mom's house for Mother's Day. And I think instead of bringing a reborn doll like I normally would, I'm definitely bringing this doll. I was thinking I want to take pictures of her near my like because my parents live out in the middle of nowhere. So I thought it'd be cool to take pictures out there. So I'm going to do that. And I don't know. I, I just, I am so in love. I, can't believe today is here. She is so special to me. I, I've always loved her spirit and just like her journey and her time period. Like my dad, he dresses up from this time period. I know that's probably so weird to some people, but that's his hobby is he dresses up like he's from this time period. My mom does it too. I do it as well. My outfit is actually like a replica of Kirsten's outfit that she's currently wearing. I have a blue floral dress with the red apron or no, I think it's a white apron and red bonnet. And that's what I wear because she's so special to me. So I, I'm just floored to have her. Oh, we forgot to put your spoon in there. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't know about her hanky. I'll try her hanky and see if it'll go in. I'm gonna fold it just right. I'm probably gonna take your spoon out. And then let's see about putting the hanky in nicely. I'm not good at putting things in nicely. That actually came out a little bit nice though. And then I will put in your spoon. Hi. Look at her. Oh, best day ever. Oh my gosh. Do you guys want a details video of her? I'm sure you do. Let's go look at her details. She has absolutely beautiful blue eyes, pretty face, Blonde hair with bangs and those hair loopies, her amber necklace and blue dress, her little pocket with the apron and the spoon, or why do I keep calling it an apron? I keep mixing these words up. Her handkerchief and her spoon. She has a red striped apron, this beautiful dress. Then here are her boots. She's so perfect and precious. So I've actually been collecting most of this doll's like stuff since I lost the doll. I have almost all the outfits that I can find that are affordable. Even have one that's super hard to find. I have her bed. I have a nightstand for her. I have almost everything they made for this doll. Having her back is so incredible. Thank you guys for being with me on this journey. I can't believe today's year. I never thought today would happen, especially because I started collecting reborn dolls and I was like, I'm just not as interested in American Girl dolls anymore. But having her back, oh my gosh, this is an incredible feeling. It's like seeing a long lost friend again. I don't know if I'm ever gonna like be able to let her go or at least not for the next week. I don't know. This is the best day that has ever happened. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. I love you guys so much and I'm so thankful for you guys. Each and every one of you are incredible. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with your friends if you think they'd enjoy it. And make sure to check out American Girl Dolls' current, like the 35th anniversary celebrations. They have a lot going on. Um, I think there's a lot of new sets that recently came out, but also they have the original six dolls and the original six dolls are only gonna be around for a certain amount of time. I don't know how long, but they're a limited edition. So go grab them if you want them because I don't know how long they're gonna be here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for being here. I love you so much and I don't know. Thank you, bye, you matter. <laughs> I don't know what I normally say. I'm just, this is the happiest day ever.